Bag fuel, baby. I went to the feds when I was like 18. And like I, I, like I grew up, I jumped off the porch late but early, you feel me? I was like on some just out there shit. And it's like, I, I kind of kept fucking up, fucking up. And now you know, you start to see everybody ain't on the same path. Niggas ain't trying to grow and shit. And I'm all about growth. I got kids and I don't really, you know, I don't got time for it. You know, I keep getting all these second chances and shit. I don't got time for it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I just try to keep people around me that's got the same mindset or got goals. How hard is that? Man, it's easy. Like, now, <laughs> you know, for the well-being of yourself, you mm -hmm. know, you, you start thinking about, like, where you gonna be 10 years from now, how your moves gonna pay off, you know? Like, so it's got easier for me. It's like, you just gotta keep distractions away from you. You know what I'm saying? Just keep keep the distractions away. But you said like it's a simple thing to do. I mean, it's simple. It's hard. You... I, I think I think I've been I've been doing this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the distractions is the is to me the is biggest. the biggest part of the game. Yeah. You, 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 it's women. You get a couple dollars, trying to help your people. You know what? Your family. You know what keep me grounded? Um, me having like a solid woman in my corner yeah. and kids that I gotta look at every day. I get my kids on the bus and shit. You know, I'm still active in all their lives. And mm. one of my biggest accomplishments is like, to me, being a father, because I grew up without a father. You know what I'm saying? So when I say it's easy, it's not easy to keep away from it, but it's easy to get back on track. Because, you know, you'll see, you see where you're moving wrong at after a while. You're like, okay, I'm slipping again. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck up. But I know how to, you know, I know how to stay on the right, on the right shit, you know what I'm saying? Like when shit not going right, I don't get discouraged or like, oh shit, I'm gonna crash out. I'm just like, it, it, you know it's gonna come with it. Do you think your failures when you was young is attributed to your father not being there? I think that's a big part in it. And me um, using that as an excuse, <laughs> you know, when I was younger, like I ain't got this, but that shit made me, that shit made me stronger. <laughs> like for real, bro, it made me, it made me like, become the father that I didn't have. You know what I'm saying? And I um I got nephews and cousins. I got people looking up to me, so it's like I I can't fuck up. <laughs> Cause they looking up to me. So if I fuck up, that's like saying fuck them. You feel me? Like that's how I look at it. Got any more strikes left or what as far as Cause you you sound like you've been in the feds Man, a couple look, of times. Not a couple of times. I've been once. Once, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, it was other legal shit. And like, like the first, like a lot of shit was out of my control. And it's like, I What's just. out of your control? Yeah. Like it, going to the feds or after? It was going. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, are you living a lifestyle? You no, happen to I'm be... not living no lifestyle. No, what that, I'm saying like, is. At the time, I was. You so know. Man, how's that not in your control then? Like, I was on some. Um, I'm just with who I'm rocking with. You know that's what, I'm what I was about to go with. Yeah, that. I wasn't really with the bullshit, but I was with them. And it's like, I'm with it. Association? <laughs> yeah, association. And he's like, you know, I take mine on the chin. And they just, tried to get you to tell? Nah, you know, it wasn't trying to get you to tell type shit. It was just like, you just do dumb shit and <laughs> end up in a dumb situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, running, like, running wild. You know, I don't want to talk too much nah. into it. Yeah. You feel me? So. Then, like, after that, got shit back together. I, um, I moved back to NC, you know, after my bid and shit, because I was in DC when I caught my mm. shit. So, um, I had an incident where some other shit happened. Another shit, um, y'all can look it up or whatever. I don't really want to talk about it, but it kind of, it was like my life was on the line. My, my freedom was on the line, you know what I'm saying? And, I was like, damn, shit over, but I was in the process of like giving up. I couldn't put out music like I wanted to. Like, as far as saying the shit, a nigga, nigga you know, that you feel comfortable saying. And like, so I use it to my advantage. I dropped the EP and tried to put like all positive, like type, you know, versatility type of shit up there just to keep, keep some motion going. Got that shit out of the way, it's under the rug, so. Now I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm back at it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What was your first, describe to me the, the feeling that went on in your mind your first day in jail. First day ever? 
And first just, day ever. In, in the fast, your first day ever. I'm right here where my pops was at on some real shit. Cause um, I went to I went to visit him before my first bid, mm -hmm. and that that was the first time I seen him since I was six. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, since I was six years old, and um, I seen him when I was six, and then I went in when I was 18, and I went to go visit him and shit. So. My first thought in was just like visualizing me and him in the table at the visiting room, you know. Started counting down, counting down the days. About after the third day making my own calendar, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm just take it, you know. It was like it was a. I'm glad that I went through shit because it was like more of a learning experience. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And if I ain't fuck up then, I would fucked up then. Like now, Later I'm 36 on. now, yeah. and I'm glad. Like I learned a lot of shit from fucking up. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's all in how you control, like, how you handle your situation. There's people that ain't, like, I got people that ain't never been in trouble, and, like, they not where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? They ain't mm -hmm. never been through shit, mm -hmm. but they still ain't make nothing happen with, with, with their opportunities. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it make me feel good. Like, I'm, I don't never look down, like, on myself, like, on my failures and shit, because, you know, it make you who you are, build your character. So, how hard has it been to try to come out as a rap artist in North Carolina? Man, that shit is. <clears throat> and this I is Carolina say... D boy, by the way. We just started the show, but oh, yeah. Carolina D boy, yep. straight out of North Carolina, by the way of DC. Yep. As far as um, the as far as getting some motion and getting established, I feel like it's the same everywhere, and it's about who you know. Like connecting the dots with certain people, promo. Uh, you gotta have bread going into what you're doing, like any other business. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's all in how bad you want it. Where did you learn that at? I just know. I just <laughs> is that a down south mentality? Because every it seems like every dude down south has that ingrained in them. But mm -hmm. on a majority level, I can't say one one thousand percent. You saying as far as um. No one to spend the money going for it like that. I feel, moment, like, I yeah. feel like you got to invest to get seen. It's not like that up here. It's That's not, what. Mm -mm. Where they, it's, they don't want up here. They don't want to spend. They don't want to spend no money. <laughs> yeah. That's why like, you don't I see mean, them nowhere. That, though. Is that a plus or? A it, it's definitely a negative. It's a negative. Yeah. But especially up here. I feel like if you put money, if you're good at what you do, like I see some garbage ass rappers and they just got it. They, you know, y'all, we all see them. They popping, but yeah. you know it's because they putting bread in the right people pockets and shit. Mm -hmm. So, but but the right people pockets is uh, see people make That's it seem like it's dirty. The no, right people pocket. No, when they say right, the, you got to put money in the right people's pockets. Everybody's mind just already goes to radio and DJs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that 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 that's what they say and. I was part of the people that only highlighted that or told people about things that happened with that. But mm -hmm. then they had me tell me that, yo, you got to clear it up to say where people are spending money. Because when you say spending money, they only think they that. Think, yeah. the, the right people pockets is the right promoters. Right promoters. The right PR. Yeah, mm -hmm. Definitely the right promoters and PR. That's, I think that's a big a big part. A bit. <laughs> Social media. Sound like you've been robbed by some PR. Not robbed, but like... I ain't really like, been robbed, but I've been on... Um, where I kept putting, yeah. putting bread and it's not getting the results. It's yeah. not yielding the results that I want. Yeah, because we spoke know. off off camera and I was like, yeah. and some of those um, advice I gave you was also via what he did. Mm. Just to let you know, I'm not going to sit here and take credit for that. He was like talking about what shows he should do. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. said, we do if, that though. We we help people get on other people's shows. Yeah, that's, that's where it's at, man. I feel mm -hmm. like that's big with, um, it's Social good. media being the it's a network the main shit. Yeah, but but that's not a e the fact that y'all spoke about that is a plus, mm -hmm. right? Because people that don't understand spending money, they always think that oh, I'm just gonna send him to this other person. That other person has to get paid. Yeah, we have to get paid for opening the door for you getting to that other Definitely. person Definitely. because nine times out of ten, you wouldn't even be able to get to them. That fast yeah. or through a DM yeah. or whatever you got going Definitely on. Definitely not through a DM because I've been hitting. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get no response. The DM or is sometimes tough. the person that run the, like you hit the DM and the person, they respond like, I don't know how to get you up here. And I'm like, well, who the fuck running the page? 
you know, like who who's in control of getting me up here? Because that's the platform. Uh -huh. All they're doing is watching to see if this is somebody of a level of notoriety. Yeah. And Esso would say, the way to get around that is say, I have money to spend. That, that's it. If you say that, they're going to be like, okay. They, they're yeah. gatekeeping. Yeah, that's yeah. all it is. That's what they got to do. Like, you can't field see, every <laughs> single call. See, bro. another thing, I, try, I get to where, like, you're spending it, but you don't know what's the high, middle, or low end what you, what you or who you fucking with. So, do you negotiate or do you, like... It's like I'm. I tell people, like, you know, no, not me, but I'm saying, do you do that or? I see I, what you mean. I would just what I tell people is that come with your real budget. Yeah. It's all about picking and choosing who you know is right. For example, if you picked him to do something for you, mm -hmm. he can't fuck you over. Yeah. He's too much in the limelight. Yeah. This internet the is name, too crazy. Matters, yeah. As soon as you say okay. I paid him. And he fucked me. It's a problem. You're in trouble. Yeah. It's a lot of people. I'm not going to name their names. It's a lot of yeah. people that have been doing that. Day. On this side, he taught me about this side of the game. Word. Right? That's so there's a lot of people on this side of the game that he let me know, oh, she's just taking their money. Word. He's just taking their money. I was just like, oh, they're not even already. fulfilling. They're not even fulfilling what they got going on. But, but people like yourself, sometimes y'all go for the name. Yeah. This name, this PR girl. Mm. I get if yeah. I get her, then I yeah. can say <laughs> like, like I'ma just throw a name out there. This ain't no name. <laughs> but people used to go to Karen Civil. Hey, look, right? Oh, you hey, look. Like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 I'm gonna get Karen Civil to host my shit. Cause yeah. people, because they she's popular, right? She has popular friends, mm -hmm. and they think that that's that's gonna be popular people connections to their event. Right, yeah. but you really need somebody that's on a different level that needs to make you look good. That's really rolling like, that like, good. like, like for for what we do in order. If we send you somewhere, <laughs> we need it to be popping. We need your money to be well spent, yeah. so you can go on and say, "Yo, I spent my money with Bag Fuel, and they sent me to uh, this show and that show and yeah. that show. I did small pieces of content with Space Ghost. My money was well spent." Yeah. So then the next person is going to be like, I'm not going to fuck with this other person. I'm just going to rock gonna with rock them straight. because now you're getting popularity. You're telling them the money is well spent and you're pleased with the reaction that you're getting. Yeah. And, and facts, you're facts. getting momentum. Yeah, that momentum is where, I ain't going to lie, the most discouraging shit is when you're rolling and then you can't roll. Like, and you, you know, stop. Yeah. You got to keep stopping and going. When you keep stopping and going, you it's not going to happen. You stop because, like, that shit, so... The the my career for that I got me a I started a box truck business a cleaning business to mm. keep some money to pass the passive income yeah. you know what I'm saying so I feel like you came up with that in jail yeah I came up with that like before jail the second time I was in jail well this the last time I was locked up was like 20, 2020, 2021. Damn, that's recent though yeah but that was for some. Bullshit. Yeah, that was when I was my well, it wasn't I bullshit. Got you. My freedom was my my life was on the line. For, okay, for understood. Sure. So I um I was like, I'm gonna get my CDL shit, blah blah blah. Got in there, went studied the whole CDL book. I got out, they I couldn't get licensed for after a year after my probation was over. So mm. that shit fucked me up. I'm like, damn. Why couldn't, why couldn't you get it though? Because my you're... charge was driving related. Uh, but it was like, and you they, needed they three were, years. Man, I had to finish oh. complete probation and pay pay all Five. my fees. And Let all me that. ask you something. This is random. Did you study for that CDL test? I really look. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. This, this, look, this I got a CDL. I don't got my CDL. Oh, and that shit fucked me up. So I got. I, I own box trucks. I run box trucks. Mm. You know? What is a box truck, bro? It's a um. It's a like for like they use them for like like U-Haul trucks almost yeah, like a U-Haul, but it got a lift gate on it. Yeah. So so the bottom would go up like this. So that's how you making your money is off a of box truck. Box trucks, and I got a cleaning business also, commercial cleaning. So I I do both of them. Um, I'm trying to get people in a position where I they can run it, and I don't have to be constantly working, so I can do shit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can be on the move. I, I realized like my problem is not having the time to do shit. Mm. Even when like when I was working a nine to five, I want to be in the studio, but I can't be in the studio because I gotta make the money to go to the studio. Mm. So I don't want to be in the streets. I you know got it's a yeah. it's a it's a game and it's like what's up. Bro? If you're doing successful with this cleaning business in the box shop, why not just lean forward into that? Why become I'm, a rapper? I'm leaning forward into it, but I'm I'm. 
I'm not trying to become a rapper. I'm a rapper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm it's in good. his heart. Yeah, I'm good. And it's like, I don't... But when I stopped doing music, it's always, that shit pulled me back. It's always pulling me. It's, that, it's always been my so passion. So music is keeping you on the right it path. It keeps my, my mind clear. It keeps me from being in the streets. Honestly, like... And I can't, I can't let it go. You feel me? So, and my goal, like... I, I don't want to always rap. I'm going to go towards more like R&B... You know, I'm I'm gonna do some shit. I'm I'm very versatile, and it's like I try not to be on too much street rah rah shit because mm-hmm. it's not, you know, it's not, it's it it was me. It's not me no more. But let me you know, jump so in. Let me, let me ask you a question before you finish, right? But your name is Carolina D Boy. <laughs> that's drug shit. Yeah, yeah, look, that's gangster. That's not, like, that's like, like, come on, shit. bro. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying because my first question to you was going to be how are we going to cross over with a name like Carolina hey, D Boy? I'm going to make it work. The D, the, look. Carolina my, my, Boy? My, my government is D'Angelo. So oh, everybody D-boy. call me D. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just. I just. I got to, you. I got you. Okay. You know all right. So, so I, it's really it a, what's Carolina that called? A, a parry, a play on words. Yeah, it ain't Carolina Dope Boy. It's like just you would do. That's D. Yeah, D. Yeah. Yeah, okay. right, no, well, I'm, I'm glad you cleared yeah, it up yeah, for me. Yeah, Cause, Cause yeah. I'm like this nigga talking on positive <laughs> and stuff. Nah, Carolina D Boy. I just be a R and B nigga. Yeah. And Carolina D Boy. It really not necessarily not necessarily R and B, but like uh melodic melodic type shit. You know and like. Something that everybody can listen to. For the, so, something the chicks yeah. can listen to. Yeah, the chicks. Cause you going melodic, niggas like, I don't want to hear yeah, that. You know what else you chick get in the car? I'm not a smoker. He is. Something for niggas to roll up yeah, to. Yeah, you roll up yeah. to. Yeah. And then like, I be playing my songs in the car, mm. and I say like, I curse one time. My kids like, da da, you just, you know, and I'm like, damn. So you're not cursing? I, yeah, I am. But I'm just saying, I need something that's got. More of a message, cause I don't gotta curse them. I can't really like. People don't listen to you when you're not cursing though. That's a fact. I feel like that's just, true. I, you might have to bleep this shit out. But for some reason, when you say curses, it make people be like, they 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 checking they for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. shut up ain't the same as yo shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. fuck and bitch yeah. and shit. That shit hit hard, you know. Cause I got <laughs> hey, I got a lot of rhymes where I say shit about every four bars and that shit hit like you know. Mm-hmm. I, so I feel you, but I feel like. As long as I ain't putting the wrong messages, I can get, like, I can make some dope ass rhymes where it sound like I'm talking about cooking work, <laughs> but I'm really talking about rapping. Yeah. You know how what I'm saying? How like, do you maintain your, your wife and kids? Because you out in the streets, you're, you're in a lifestyle where it's nothing but, it's fast, it's a- active. You got gangsters in there. You got women throwing themselves at, at a person with motion. You no, know, I, um, I involve them because I feel like that'll keep that to kind of hold us together if they involved. Mm-hmm. You know, you ever be like being with somebody and it's like you making all these moves, yeah. but they feel like they left out. Yeah, yeah. But you telling them like, I got you, I got you. But you don't. You don't feel it. You, yeah. I got you because you know you got to be like, I got to include them. But like, as far as the kids, I'm always, I'm always doing shit with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Always like the zoo, go to, go to, <clears throat> go to the beach. You know. Uh, kids like Christmas Day last year, I took them to the studio with me and brought in, bring in Christmas, well, Christmas Eve, brought them mm-hmm. to the studio, you know, and they talk about that up until now. So it's like little shit. I listen to what they what they like or what where they felt involved. Are they into the hip hop or they want to go in a different direction? I don't know how old they are, but you know. My, um, my oldest daughter, 11, then I got an eight and seven year old. Mm-hmm. So. What they into? Science fiction. Man, they into veterinary. Bro, look, they into YouTube and yeah. Roblox. <laughs> and I'm like, that get off sense. YouTube. And I'm like, you know, because it's, it's just different. You know. Why do you want them off YouTube though? A certain shit that I don't have control over it, and it's, it's not like, sensitive enough for you. Yeah, it's not sensitive enough. Let but it's see. like I'm the one that bought the tablets. <laughs> but it's okay. like now I'm like, damn. But D boy. Yeah. They only doing what we did. And yeah, let me right. give you a parallel. They try to censor us with radio and television, and we still find a way to get into the R-rated movie. Niggas found their the uncle's- hip-hop. Yeah, niggas found their uncle's stash of tapes. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I'm not saying you're not doing the right thing as a parent, yeah, but what I'm is. saying is with how we grew up in hip-hop, magazines, radio, um, BET, that YouTube is the same equivalency. 
Right. Uh, That's why these kids are like, I want to be a YouTube star in the older generation like us. We like, what the fuck are you, you know, talking about? I think about? about that a lot too. Like, uh, as you right, it's just the same shit, just different, different devices, you know? So I feel- And I'm not saying, saying you, you can't do your diligence as a parent. I, I don't want to, but you know, they're going to find it. Though. Yeah, they're going to find it. <laughs> I just, um, I try my best to- <laughs> Nah, block, you doing your job. shit out, man. I'm like, man, nah. <laughs> But then go, it, go outside and play or something. How'd you figure it out? I'm, the fear of blocking it out is mm -hmm. this. My daughter's mother was the one that wanted to block it out. Like, yo, no iPhone is too much mm -hmm. as this. Mm -hmm. I did. I wanted her to be able to know it and see it and give her confidence to be able to talk to me to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Because I went to college. And it was a lot of naive women that walked into college and got taken yeah. advantage of in yeah, college really because they're they, not hip to like, they had no yeah. experience because they 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 parents sheltered them and did a whole bunch of shit and that's the part that scared me. Being in college, seeing college girls fuck with drug dealers and getting murdered and burnt up in cars and all that stuff mm -hmm. because yeah. they because they not aware they don't understand the game. I wanted my daughter to be able to be like, yo, I, we watched New Jack City together. We watched old movies together so that you understand this is how this is where I come from and this is what's really going on in the world. Yeah, this isn't on the be, phone. You don't want them to be green and then it's like they turn 18 and now they just the, a baby, nigga, baby to the 18 year old you yeah. is taking advantage of her. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and you and nigga. And that was my biggest saying, and that was my biggest fear that she's gonna run into me. Yeah. At 18, <laughs> and, and niggas gonna be running hoops around her ass. I was like, not my daughter. I we gonna about, learn the hoops. Nigga. I think about that shit a lot now. Mm -hmm. Even with my 11 year old, she uh she moved to Georgia with her mom and shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, I I can't be right there. The Peach State. Oof. You know what I'm saying? But she's in like, I mean, I know it don't matter what part, but they're in the cl like closer to like Florida and shit. Oh, they yeah, like yeah. like Valdosta. No, that's uh, no, that's further down. I don't remember the uh, Leesburg or some shit. Okay, like that's near Jacksonville, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Nah, I'm bugging. It's mm -hmm. oh, it's near t more closer to Tallahassee. And Tallahassee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Damn, that's right by FAMU. Yeah, yeah so fam it's like, so, shout out to my cousin Bam and the Wise Guy Pod. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. FAMU, that's a, that's a rugged area. A word. Yeah, not like like what Esso said. It has three colleges there. Right. So FAMU, this girl. FSU, and TCC, which is one of the most illest community colleges mm -hmm. yeah. in the country. So it's a party. You know, it's a party. Like, is, yeah. is it like, like A&T in North Carolina or something like more? On bit? steroids. No, no, it's on, on, on steroids. steroids. <laughs> oh, it's on, <laughs> on steroids. <laughs> the biggest recruitment to go to FAMU is this, to the guys. We got all the girls. All the girls. <laughs> and to the girls. We got all the guys. Down there, yeah. and, 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 I'm, just, I'm just trying to tell you. And a lot of drugs run through there, man. Yeah, it's Florida. It's and Florida. that part especially. So, you know. Look, and I know, you know, as a parent, it's, I know you want to know shit like that. My biggest thing is like staying active. Because yeah. all it takes is one month of you not, you know, not reaching out or not going to pick her up. No, nah, you know? I remember there was an interview. No, we was shooting an episode. And I remember my man Esso said, the hardest thing a guy goes through is not being in the house with their child, knowing that somebody else is imprinting them and you can't give them that guidance and that shit. For a dude that don't have no kids, he can never understand yeah, that shit. Yeah, he can never understand it, really, bro. Even for a nigga that never spent time, like, that's not, the you, bond? they don't know their kids, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, I, um, as far as with, with my situation, it's like my own, um, my daughter's, Mother, her, you know, her dude or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I first found out that, you know, they had somebody else, you know, I was like, okay. in the house. I was ready to have a problem, but I met a nigga. Yeah, you, know, you know, shit was all right. Yeah, it was yeah. like, I was like, damn, but. He's actually, I do. Yeah, yeah, and then I was like, I can't even say nothing. He opened the door for my baby mama, you know, shit like yeah, that. I, I'm gonna be know? honest, I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought that, that my like, baby mom's, the dude that my baby mom's married, I'm gonna keep it real. I never said this on camera. I thought he was cool too. Yeah. Until something occurred with me and my baby mama, and I realized he's not a cool dude because it just, it because a cool front. dude, nah, a cool it's, dude, it, it's, it's it's not a front. Like I feel like women, especially baby mamas, they have other men in there. They they can make them feel guilty and make them feel guarded. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like this is my woman now, 
and this is what she's doing now. Yeah. Your woman was a bitch before you, <laughs> yeah. she's gonna be a bitch after you. You can't change that. You not changing that, that's so it. she's not, not a bitch now. <laughs> it's not, not a bitch because you got yo, yo. He gotta have kids himself. Well, 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 yeah. see, they, no, they had a kid together. No, Wait, but after before, before, he he before, 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 before no, no, he didn't have the old kid before. That's a different, like, that's a different vibe. Into, you don't even know. He came into it, but listen to it, like, like, real talk. Mm -hmm. He came into it, and I, I swear I never talked about this before. You know what I'm saying? He came into it, I know her. I was with her for t uh, 10 and a half years before him. Okay? Let's get it, don't get it right. twisted, all right? He's probably just hitting 10 years with her right now. <laughs> and that's hey, a look. fact. So with that 10 years, I know how she can manipulate and put people in the corner. The part of why we, bump, we bumped heads, because you can't do that with me. Like, you're not going to tell me, God bless the dead, oh, my mother this, my mother that, oh, yeah. and think I'm going to just be looking at your mom like your mom is a bad person. Nah, bitch. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm giving your mom a chance to, to get to know me, too. She, but she got to get to know me, too. But there's a lot of men that come in and say, oh, babe, she did you wrong. I'm not messing with her, neither. So in a situation where my, 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 my baby mom even had, had him thinking I wasn't paying my child support, everything. We had a meeting at the table, Damn. and this is the real shit. Somebody brought up child support. No, I brought up child support. I said, why are you texting me like, like my child support is at zero? <laughs> oh, my God. She just convulsed. She had to cry and, and go to the bathroom. Right? Bro. After she comes to the bathroom, everybody's like, are you all right? Right? We didn't <laughs> forgot about the fact she lied about the money. Oh, yeah. We didn't forgot about the fact that my daughter yeah. heard her lying on the step. This is all the shit that goes on. <laughs> he calls her. This is real <laughs> shit. My daughter, I'm telling, I don't give a fuck. My daughter told me to my face. She heard her mother lying on me. Yeah. That's the first thing. She told me to my face. She heard her lying to her husband at the time and she said dad the nigga agreed like he was there he wasn't even there you feel what I'm Ill saying shit, and this, is, this is real shit and then when she's telling him different things about me although that he's met me although that he saw that I was cool with their daughter my 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 my, my daughter's stepdaughter I was happy that she had a, a, a sibling because I wasn't having no more kids so I, I was cool with Harpowski I, I, I fucked with her that's, that, I, I gave her the nickname but when one thing goes wrong, it's always like that. And the, and this woman can now poison your mind. Can't get your way. This dummy yeah. even got on the yeah. phone talking to me about something that he don't even know about because he's emotional about his wife, which is my baby mama. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It makes no sense to me. But when you're not in that house, but when yeah. you're not in that house, mm -hmm. everything is subject to change. Even yeah. your kids. Advice. Yeah, you I don't. I don't have no kids, but I'm pure blended family. I don't have a memory of my pops and moms being together. Right. And if that was to ever happen in an alter, that would look weird to me. I always say, listen to the kid or what yeah, they yeah. say about the person and not the parent. Yeah, the kid always got going to have a clear, innocent mind. Yeah. And they got nothing to gain or lose from yeah. it. You know, Sometimes. they don't speak. Well, yeah, sometimes. It depends uh, they on mom, if they mama's a devil, kid, kid, kids be lying. Yeah, no, what I'm saying to listen to the kids kid be lying like a mama. I'm, look, I'm coming Far from the perspective of y'all two not being around. Oh, yeah. And with, what with the, the kid daughter. would, would say if in reference going on, yeah. of what's going on in the house and about the other person that y'all have apprehensions on, not the parent. Yeah, yeah. I don't, the parent's going to spin it all the time. And I went through that. So that's why. I, and I hit the, <laughs> I hit the, the family lotto. All my step parents, they're good shit. Mm -hmm. We had our hiccups, but I know that ain't the norm. Yeah. So I, all I can say is just pick as well as you can and hope for the best. And that's a fucked up advice, but ain't yeah. nothing else you can do I, about um, it. I look at it like that, but like you said, like I said, I'm a. I feel like you're doing the thing. As long as I'm staying active, and I make the trips, to yeah. go pick up every holiday, the whole summer. You know, I know it's gonna be it's gonna be shit to worry about. In the future, because yeah. you can't just be like, oh, it's good, because that's when shit knock your ass out. You're like, damn, I was, <laughs> everything was good. Ah, it was all know? good just a week ago. <laughs> it was all good just a week ago. So I keep a guard up for the bullshit, but I just pray. I stay prayed up on, like, you know, for the best. And, like, I treat people good so my kids won't deal with my karma. You know what I'm saying? I try, I try to. You can't keep them from my karma, though. Yeah. I tried that. I, th I thought that, like, and I, you can't because it's like shit. Like you, people don't even know where the karma's gonna come from. Yeah, I crazy. could do something foul, and the karma hit my closest cousin. You know what's crazy too? Mm. I think about like, I like 
my shit might not be done yet. You know, so it's like mm. shit that I done did. And I'm like, okay, I done paid That's this. That's a fact. You never know when you're going to get I ain't pay this off. Yeah. I ain't pay that off. And you still creating yeah. shit that you got to create yeah. that yeah. you need karma. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we none of us is perfect, bro. Yeah. We all fucking so up along like, the way. Sometimes later on, I be like, damn. I did this. You know, you start feeling fucked up about shit you did when you was younger. You, you like, start thinking about the how, how you did the girls dirty. Like, man, I hope I my daughter don't get done like <laughs> that. Yeah, bro. I think about that shit a lot. Cause I'm like, that's, I hope she don't get done that's, like that. That's that. something. And that's, he and he do that had they run in the streets, yeah. it's always the first is usually a girl, mm. or the majority of the kids is a girl, is what I've seen. Yeah, I had I didn't think I could have boys. I had three daughters, right? And then I had a son this past year or this year. You must have really like fucking that baby. Man, I was trying. <laughs> I, I, this be a anytime, boy. anytime you nut hard, that's a boy. Like, you be convulsing like that's a boy. I remember like, what position I was in, everything. I remember all that shit. I thought I'd do it again. You know what's funny? If life get rough, I'm gonna do this shit again. I'm gonna have a boy. We gonna build. Yo, every girl, every girl remembers what position they was in hey, when they had the boy, but never the girl. Yeah. 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 I, I, don't, I, I don't know when I got pregnant with the girl. Yeah. But my the, son, yeah. we was in the back of the car. Man. Yeah, we was on the couch. It was crazy. We was, in a, we was in a living room, you know, on the edge of the couch. It was like 1130. You know, Yo, I was all that shit. <laughs> Yo, what's, what's it like when you're in the studio creating? We haven't really spoke about your music. In the studio? Yeah, man. man what's all, your vibe like, man? My vibe is, I like, uh, it's really with how I'm feeling that day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it depends on, like, I might... I'm trying to cut back on smoking and shit, cause like people say it on all too, but some that shit make me move. You must up. got some trash weed. Nah, that's it's gas. Hey, look, <laughs> look, show me where the gas at, though. I ain't got no gas, so it's like. Size Bugs got the gas right, in I New need, York I need City. Some gas. Yeah, but I'm like, I can help, I can help you out. When I say chill out, saying like, as far as when I got some shit to do, I was like, I'm gonna smoke first. But it's like I want to get to where I, I function without like I'm gonna go smoke, you know. But sometimes I'll be running late. Man, may I ask why? 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 What? What is spurring you on to say I don't wanna really want to smoke like that? Moving on, paying attention and moving like how I move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes I'll be late for some shit, and I'm like, let me roll up first. <laughs> it's just I always been like that, I, and I I can never be like. Like on time for shit. Structure. Like, Did you think like, about going on time or before time and smoking when you get? Cause that's what I do. No, that's what I might need to do. But like I was today, I was late. But I ain't smoked before I came. I was just trying to hit the barbershop, all that shit. Yeah. But the last shit I did the other day, I was late, and I put my GPS in, bro. I started going, and I was smoking. I was smoking before I left. Tell me why my GPS took me right back to my hotel. So. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was like, hey, I saw all these niggas, I was like, bro, I'm going to be late. <laughs> I, look, I called my girl, I said, man, I'm about to go back home. Fuck this shit, man. I said, shit ain't going it's right. It's a sign. It's a sign. Yeah, I said, I need to, you know, then I was like, you know what? I did. I was Stick worried about it. rolling up first. And then I, I didn't realize I tapped the address. And my shit got, I had two maps going. So I had maps and Google Maps. <laughs> and I was like. Look, bro, I said I'm almost here. I said, damn, they got a, a, a hotel like the shit where I stayed. I looked, I said, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> I said, damn. Then, like, so I was like, you know what? I told my mom, dude, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to chill out with smoking and shit till, you know, I'm going to handle my shit first. Yeah. Like, even after the day, I'm going to smoke after this interview. And go eat and shit. I gotta nah, chill out though. No. Nah. Because I know it's like, I'd be like, let me run. Yeah, I get you that size bug. You're gonna be fucked. You're gonna be fucked up. That word. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a smoker. Look, bro. You're gonna be I'm, finished, bro. I'm going. You're gonna call him like, yo, bro, I'm moving. I'm moving. You're gonna up be here. finished, bro. Yeah. I promise yeah. you. Yeah. This I'm shit a, is I'm gonna drama. try to, I'm gonna find a studio. And like I said, like, Why, as far as what you, what you were saying, like, my vibe. Yeah. And it's like, I go off of how I feel that day. Like, my music, I make based off of what I'm going through. Who you looking to collab with? Cause I know like down south dudes, they have a wish list and they they really don't imagine they really going for it. Man, I really um I had a long list before I started doing mm. this shit, but it's like I don't really care. Smart I, man. I feel like you I feel started like, meeting these people or something like that. No, I just feel like I'm 
I'm the prize too. Thank you. I ain't mad at it. Invest in yourself. All right, so so give me the three you got, because I know you chopped off the. Man, look, I always wanted to work with Jay Z, bro, because it's like ever since I was young. I told you, Joe. But Jay Z don't want to work with nobody. Don't work with nobody. So that's like it would be like him. X Z uh, influence everybody. No, they don't want to work. Who else? J Cole, because he from NC, yeah. and I like that's how, possible. I like Cole. He never been like. I always like. I used to tell my home, my homeboys like J Cole real. Like, how you know he real? You don't know him, but I'm like he real as far as not putting on the front. The, now he real as fuck. Like not to get where I'm gonna get. I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear to sell a record. Now he real as fuck. You know what I'm cool, yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, future. That's it. That makes sense. You know what that's I'm saying? Future rapping. always uh. with that. With that Pluto, shit, yeah, shout out to like, Pluto. They you know, like, when you can set a trend, niggas don't give him, niggas do give him credit, but he a trend set a lot of yeah, shit. I got one question what, what for you. you. I'm just my last question. Yeah. It's about future. Yeah. Is future the Jay Z of this time? I, me, I, I say yes. You say to no? Me, I say yes. To me, he is as far as his imprint. How, you say his no? Imprint. Yo, bro, yes. I used to say, I used to think no, but I'm going to tell you this right now. After Jay Z, after, after, after this girl calls while you talk about future. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After Jay Z, I'm sorry. Yes. After Jay Z stopped rapping, there's only two people that has picked up the slack from him stop rapping, and that's Future and Drake. Yeah, Drake really picked it up. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne did hold that crown. I feel like Jay Z. Jay Z was still no. Jay-Z wait, hold on, hold on. Wayne, though. Let me say this. I'm not saying Wayne didn't have the torch. Jay Z was still rapping. Yeah. Jay Z was still rapping after after, after Jay Z stopped rapping. Future Drake, and Drake got that's it. all the summer. Wayne, wait, look, let me yeah. let me be clear because Wayne is Wayne is in my top five. Yeah, I took him out my top five and put Wayne in there. So let's not get it <laughs> fucked up. Wayne. All right, but I'm, I'm I'm being clear for this camera. Wayne Jay Z was still rapping when Wayne was on top. He was still rapping. Mm-hmm. Jay Z, I don't consider him as being rapping right now. He's been on a couple of niggas' features. Yeah. He'll come outside yeah. every here and there, but he's not rapping right now, yeah, right? right? Since Jay Z stopped rapping, it's only Drake and Future. And to me, I know the people love Drake, and Drake had bigger sales. Mm-hmm. And and like Jay Wan said on my post, there are other niggas that had bigger sales than Jay Z. But we always looked at Jay Z because Jay Z owned the company. Yup. Jay Z had the most Jay-Z fucking made that money. Jay Z was both. People wanted to fuck with Jay Z, right? People want to fuck with Future. I feel like they go with Drake because they know Drake is going to get the radio Drake play. Drake going to get. Drake going to get the radio play. You going to get seen with Drake. But if I had a choice, niggas would be like, I want to go with Super Future. Yep. I want to go with the girls. Yep. I want to go with yep. the drugs. Yep. I want to go with the yep. party. Yep. Real shit. We got we got um, Carolina D boy. If you ask a hundred niggas who they want to hang out with, Drake or Future, eighty eight is going with Future. Yeah, Future for sure. Pluto. I think I think Future. What you think, Go? What you say? What you say? Future's not signing nobody. He's for sale. It doesn't matter. Drake is giving niggas bags too, nigga. I think I Drake. Drake. Drake good music, but we know niggas. Like, you know, but I know the type of niggas you, you, you listen, want. Listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say this. I know I'm going to make some fucking money. Yeah. You, you think you know, you're not making no money with Future? You would, but people are going to tune in the Future. They not. If, I can't necessarily grant. But, okay, okay. But, but are you kind of making my But are you kind of making my point? Mm-hmm. Because you just said people going to tune in the Future. No matter who's on the record. And that's what I'm saying. Niggas love Future. It's all I'm saying, no matter. Future ain't even no. coming out with no number ones. He ain't going on no fucking tours like that. Let me and tell you po- something. And they worship the ground this dude walk on, bro. The lines this nigga has, if you having problems with a bitch you love, this nigga going to get you through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, oh, Jay, yo, Jay-Z is Drake, right? And Future is, uh, who, 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 who Future I just had, I, I had to sit in my mouth. And Future Snoop Dogg. You can't compare, like, who, 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 who's bigger? Hova, Sno- Hova Snoop. It's who's bigger? And, and, and Snoop is and, and Drake, visually and Drake, more people Drake, know Snoop and Drake, Dogg. And, and Drake, yeah. see, but this is a big argument. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. But you, but people are now, people are now saying Snoop is more popular and, and might, and might, <laughs> and might have too. just as much money as Hove. Because I said I this a long time ago. Mm. Bro, no, see, all right, let me hear you. He makes sneaky money. 
Yeah, yeah, future T, you right, you right. You right. Yo, Snoop makes right. wild sneaky money cores. Martha Stewart. How about this? Oh, yo, you bugging. He had an N- and Ghost, they don't do them no, endorsements. No, Ghost Go knows it. He had an NFT account on Twitter that nobody knew, <laughs> and he was um, upcharging and running up the prices on it, and be like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? People, yeah. people, you right. Ask. People, people is making people. Snoop was the first one to be selling. I think the the, the NFT real estate or bought the NFT real estate. Snoop yeah. was the was the, the mascot for the Olympics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He had to be yeah, every, I mean, he had was, to be every event. I, like yeah, I see. Mascot Snoop. for the Olympics. But this, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> but the difference between Hov and Snoop is this. Hope and and this is us and Joe Button. I'm mean, I think I got parody. <laughs> Joe Button don't got to go outside. Hove don't got to go outside. Snoop be outside to make his money. Yeah. You ain't yeah. catching Hove at the Olympics doing this. He's yeah. not doing that. I think Hove feel like he what can't you do certain shit for how it's going to look. Like, he's he's not the one that need it. He can't. They need him. He so can't. he can't never go back I don't want to see Hove doing what he gotta Snoop go, doing. He got to keep doing, like, now he got to do big oh, boy shit every time. personality Snoop had. Like, it's a different... Yeah. Yo, I'm going to say I think, this. I think I, he yo, do. yo, I'm going to disagree. I think he I'm going to disagree. Hope personality is wild. So, Hope, so let, 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 let me just say this. Let me just say this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You talking to a dude that works with Let me just say this. Hope personality is ill. I agree. He just ain't for everybody. Yeah. He's not saying, he don't want to, he's not that nigga. It's, it, 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 it's like me. It's like, I'm boisterous around all y'all niggas, but when we go around people, I'm chilling. Mm. I'm not for everybody. But even if it don't work, I'm talking about in work capacity. If I put you in a boxing commentary thing or something, it's going to be up. It's gonna be funny. We gonna be entertaining. Yeah, I can't put true. Hov in boxing. Who says who? I can't. Yo, no, nah. I, yo, I'm gonna be honest. I, yo, I think you, I, and I'm gonna be honest. And, I, and yo, listen, I'm not, I'm not on this whole shit like everybody else. But one, the one thing I do is I respect his talent and who he is as an individual. Correct, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The nigga would be funny as fuck. Yeah. The nigga's wild funny. Yeah. He's just one of the niggas who don't. The, any sarcastic, he's the most, he's one of the most sarcastic ass people that you're ever gonna not even encounter. If you just watch his interviews, yeah. he's sarcastic as fuck. Nonchalant and sarcastic too. He's, he's, like sarcastic. More like, he's like more nonchalant his sarcastic. Favorite, like he's his just favorite like, show was Kirby Enthusiasm, nigga. So yeah. you know what it is. But that's that's a personal level in comparison to being a public, publicly. But like, he don't, he don't want to, it, it, it's like, me and Han is different. Han could do some of the shit that I do. He just don't want to do it. That's just not his thing. And that's Hove. Like, I'm Snoop. Yo, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go fuck with Mother Stewart. I'm going to yeah. jump out the plane. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. He's he not doing that type of shit. Yeah. I, I'm not worried about the look. Yeah. I'm the last nigga. I just want to have some fresh sneakers on and put my <laughs> shit on. I'm not worried about the look for real. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Respect. It's two totally different vibes of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yo, about your music, my last thing, about your music, coming out of North Carolina, it's hard to come out of North Carolina. We only seen the baby. Is 2C from North Carolina too? 2C? Sure. I don't, I don't know. Down oh, 2C. 2C was from oh, yeah, 2C from North Carolina. 2C from yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, he from Raleigh. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. yeah I thought yeah, 2C yeah. was from North so Carolina. So 2C, J. Cole, the baby. Uh, you throw P.D. Pablo in there, even though but, he's not he, coming. Oh, he old. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, I got yeah, a let's with P.D. Pablo dropping soon, too. Oh. Like, yeah, so I got some shit with him. I got- Be careful yeah. with fucking with the older generation yeah. initially. They right. put you in, and P.D. Pablo, I respect a, you. you. you no, he's a, about to give you business. I respect you. Back. They put you in a box. Yeah. When you fuck with the older They're not niggas, gonna let you fresh as the older nigga yeah. initially. I feel you. I feel you After that. you get your buzz, this is that's when you go get the veterans. You know what? You know what's crazy? That's why I haven't dropped it yet because I want to get my own shit rolling. Because yeah. I'm gonna be like, he got regular Petey Pablo. He's 50. How old is this nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look. You know what I'm saying? So, Only uh, two chains I got did some that. Shit dropping yeah, that's it. With uh, well, this nigga, he he ain't from North Carolina, but Fred Money. Um, How do I just see your name, Fred Money? Fred Money? That's Thing's brother. That's J.R. Ryder's brother. Yeah, J.R. Ryder's brother. He's just been reposting. Oh, that it's Fred Money up. is it? Oh, yeah, J.R. Ryder's brother. Yeah, I, I got some shit with him. Well, we got two joints together. Uh, so, as far as who I'm working with, that's that's about it right now and shit. Stay young. Yeah, yeah. Don't pay. It's my only advice, and I'm done after this. Go stay young, mm-hmm. as young as you can, mm-hmm. with the younger crowd. That's right? how you get that momentum, right? Keep into investing yourself. into your craft. That's do a not, though. do not go yeah. get a feature. Do right. not spend your money on feature. 
before you spend your money on feature, you do your own record and you use your money for marketing and promotion. You know what? I'm trying to figure out because mm-hmm. I, 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 that's what I want to do, but I want to know the right avenues to put the money. We can talk off camera yeah, about that. He gonna, he, he'll I, help you. I, 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 he'll I, help you. you know I got all that. That's that's a, a whole different conversation that you yeah. can call on. But if you're gonna pay ten thousand for a feature, all y'all young artists do not pay for the feature. Use the ten or the fifteen or the twenty or the five to invest in yourself locally and regionally. Can I have hold, hold on? That's good. I'm gonna close out on good this. Shit. Because they're going to ask, when is it time to get the feature? Sign up for the consultations. Yeah. Sign up for the consultations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they want to know that. If you yeah. want a consultation, yeah, yeah. DM me. That's where I, I That's good get shit. it going. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I know you was thinking that. Yeah, bro. I was the thinking. consultations start at 1500 and bro, up, bro. depending upon how long you need and what you need from me. But everybody that has got the consultation is on their direction to see if they really have the talent that they think they have. For somebody that don't know you, mm-hmm. what's the first song they should press play on to get to know you? Let's close first it First song, ah, uh, shit, man. Best representation of Carolina D-Boy. I think Let's Go. Bang. Because it's speaking on, it, on my first line, it say, I, I say, I can tell you where I'm, I, I can't tell you where I'm going, but I can tell you where, where I've I'm been. from, okay. But it probably wouldn't matter because I ain't going back again. Man, man. Make it work with what I got. I'm too grown to play the block. I done tripled up my guap. Going to going forever be good, you know what I'm saying? So it's you like you got lyrics, nigga. Yeah, so it's like I, you want to do an eight, eight bar clip after we done here? Yeah, man, hell yeah. All right, bro. I can Bang. Come with it. So we good, yo. Tap up. in, tap in with Carolina D boy. Tell them how they can find you though, bro. Follow me on Instagram at Carolina with a K underscore D boy D B O Y Y. Hell yeah. Carolina D boy, tap in, back few, back few brigade. Shout to y'all, five dollars a month. You get the you, you get the content fast before everybody else. Stay in tune. Heineken's birthday is coming up. His birthday party is coming up. His birthday pass is on the 28th of September. And my party, my all black affair, is October 16th. Uh, if you yeah. want to come to my all black affair, DM me. The tickets is $50. Table, two tables still available. We out of here. Bagfield.com.